Hi, everyone. How are we? I know I haven't, like, sorry for my appearance. I have been doing, I don't even know if I can mention it now. Anyway, I've been working on a really fun project the past few days and I'm just about to get ready and I just thought I was going to make this video quickly because I've been thinking about doing it for a while. Oh my god, I look so bad. My hair is back there, by the way. I'm not bald. But anyways, I've been thinking about doing it for a while. I just haven't really had the time. First of all, hi. I know I've been gone for a hot minute there. I've just been completely swamped in college work. And if I'm being completely honest, which is kind of what this video is about, I've been having a rough time. Don't know if anyone can relate, but I feel like a lot of people can. I don't even know where to start. Like, I haven't planned this video at all. But anyways, I'm just going to talk. And um, this isn't really anything specific. It's just having a little chat so yeah i think when this all stuck no the last video that i made was with me and robin i'm pretty sure when we did our film thing the movies if you haven't seen it check it out after that we went and we filmed um like a fast food takeaway like trying all the food like rating takeaway against each other we filmed it that was fun it was actually really good and like after we filmed it we were really like that was actually really fun i feel like it's going to be a good video then i brought my camera i brought it to the laptop or whatever and started editing and yeah that was a big turning point for me because i genuinely also actually this is a trigger warning right now and um, please don't watch this if you're struggling with eating disorders or body problems or maybe mental health I'm not too sure like I know for me when I watch these types of videos I like to watch them to know like oh I'm not alone like other people feel this way but I don't want anything to be triggering I don't want anything I'm saying to be done like I'm not promoting anything <laughs> at all I hate saying trigger but like you know I guess that's the lingo but trigger warning now that video just sent me down a spiral to be honest and to be like all you could see was my face like you couldn't even see my body but I just felt like I looked huge to be honest I'm gonna have to just say that I just felt awful about myself I felt ugly I felt just gross now I have to also looking back keep in mind that like Robin is about half my size shout out to my friend meaning her head is like half the size of my head her shoulder width is half the shoulder width of mine you know she's a small girl and i'm not so i guess maybe that had something to do with it as well but basically i just felt horrible and i was listening actually i was listening to a podcast recently just talking about being burnt out and i never really knew what that was i just listened to it because i just listened to her podcast and i realized i think i was just burnt out and what it kind of means is like you just are doing too many things at once like i had i was doing college as we all know i've mentioned it 500 times now all my assignments like my final year stuff i had performances to do my thesis and i was throwing so much time into my youtube channel like you know putting si like days aside to record and then editing them and just even the pressure of putting up videos and some getting views and some getting not and all this kind of stuff and I was also trying to work out all the time because I have I do have body I'm gonna say body dysmorphia but I don't like I haven't been clinically diagnosed with it but you know you just yeah I think a lot of people that know me would agree but then again don't come at me I haven't been clinically diagnosed so I think I have body issues <laughs> yeah there comes a stage where you're just burnt out and it's like you end up not wanting to do things that you love anymore my youtube videos that's why I stopped doing them I just gave up on everything felt like I couldn't do anything and I gained a good bit of weight and that was probably the worst thing for me because my body issues i've had them oh my god now for like since i'm gonna say third year that means i was 15 so since i was 15 i've had body problems 150 percent anyways now i was sitting at my desk for like 12 hours a day like literally not 12 hours a day but like basically from the minute i woke up to the minute i went to sleep i was sitting here at my desk and i was eating well but i was having absolutely no form of exercise no nothing and yeah I just gained weight and it really messed with my mental health. It really made me sad and I couldn't concentrate on my schoolwork and that's when it started getting bad because I couldn't concentrate on college because all I was thinking about was what am I gonna eat, oh my God. And then if I ate something then I would hate, genuinely hate myself for eating. Like you need food to survive, like it's so dumb. But anyways, that's just where I was. And then I'd have days of pretty much starving myself and then days of binging and it was just a disaster. Um, so yeah, I just gave up on everything really. I started focusing most, trying to focus mostly on college, but as I said, that wasn't really working out because my brain was just preoccupied with food and my body and I didn't want, I stopped wanting to meet people. All I wanted to do if I did meet people was like meet people in big tracks of bottoms and big jumpers. I didn't want to be in anything tight. It's weird though, like I'd be in running leggings and that's like the item out of all items that will like show your body the most, but I guess it's like the thinnest. Like this is how my mindset would, mindset would work. But I think the reason I want to do this video, first of all, I want to say sorry if anyone cares. <laughs> 
to that I haven't put up any videos in a while. I really want to get back into it now. Um, probably by the time this is up, my thesis will be handed in. Wow. I have a lot more free time. I won't be sitting at my desk 24-7 like it will be different. I also just wanted to make this video because I feel like sometimes people think that they struggle alone. I don't know if anyone who's not my friend knows that I have these struggles. Like, I... Even some of my close friends, like one of my close friends, we were planning on going to get food, like a, a few of us to meet and get food and I had to text her and say I couldn't go because I was just having such a bad time with my body and my self image that like I couldn't face having to go eat a takeaway. I just couldn't do it. And that's also when I realized it was getting bad because I was like, wow, I'm actually missing out on meeting my friends because I don't want to eat a takeaway. And I also didn't want to be that person to be like, oh, I won't get one while everyone gets one. I didn't want to draw that attention on myself. So, and she only realized, I only said it to her and she was like, wow, like I never knew that you struggled that bad, like that it was like that. And I was like, yeah, I, like, I don't like to talk about it. I get really awkward. I love when other people talk to me about it. Like I love giving advice. It just made me realize like, wow, even if one of my close friends doesn't realize that this is what's going on with me, then I'd say a lot of people don't. And I just wanted to make it like, let's normalize talking about it. And I know you see that everywhere, but like genuinely, let's normalize talking about it because it's eye opening to me when I see people and I'm like, oh my God, her body's amazing. And oh my God, she's so gorgeous. And oh my God, like you, see, you get so lost in like her Instagram and her TikTok. And then I'm like, they could be struggling. Like you never know. No, you never know and also yeah you just never know so i guess i just wanted to make it public oh my god literally scarlet oh. Yeah, let's normalize these. Thank you. I just think we need to talk about it more and not feel ashamed. I think anyone that makes you feel bad or annoying for struggling, like in this day and age, like I genuinely blame social media for everything. Not only for people feeling like their lives are shit, but also body image, 100% seeing people's bodies all the time. And I don't think you realize how much bodies are everywhere and you look and you nitpick everything. And that's completely down to social media because you you're constantly bombarded with all these pictures whereas without social media you wouldn't see that so you just wear what you wear and you wouldn't be like wow this looks so much better on such and such yeah so i don't know where this video is going i just want to normalize it and just to let everyone know that you're not alone at all and if you struggle with things you're not alone and like mental health is so important to talk about i'm not putting everyone in one group but i just feel like a lot of people who don't talk who don't struggle with it don't like to talk about it and don't like when other people talk about it and it's like oh we get it kind of no you need to talk about it because like why can we please also normalize going to therapy i like to say therapy like rather than counseling because I feel like counseling is like marriage counseling and I'm not married, I'm very much single. Everything's so hectic and everything's online and everything's just not real. I feel like people are so wound up on what their Instagrams look like or what they look like on Instagram and oh my god I need to put this post and I'm putting up TikToks and if the TikTok doesn't get enough of views, like who cares? Let's just live. And I know I'm saying this and I'm making a YouTube video, but I make these videos because it's what I love to do. I love to make videos. And I just want everyone to just check in on each other and check, like, how are your friends? Maybe next time when you meet someone, say, I heard this on a podcast. It was a Ross Purcell podcast. She had some, I think his name Gary. My friend sent it to me to listen to. And I actually listened to it on the beach and I was crying while listening to it. <laughs> it's just been a tough, it's been a tough, like, last month. It really has, like, a couple of weeks. But it is called Creating Positive Internal Dialogues and reconnecting to yourself with motivational speaker jerry oh, it's jerry hussey it there i don't know if you can see i think everyone should just take the conscious decision to just i'm not in front of a group i'm not saying in a group setting be like you look sad what's wrong with you no i don't know i think we all need to make more of an effort to just observe our friends and people we love and if you love someone friend or relationship wise like you'll notice if something's up i think just give people a little bit of time like give people a break if you have a friend who's anxious don't get mad of mad at them for being anxious if you have someone that's depressed allow them to take a day to themselves don't give out to them for not meeting you why can't we just take mental health days just like we take sick days because they're real and i think we just need to normalize it obviously to an extent don't let someone pull away from their friends and isolate themselves of course but like allow people to take a day or two just to themselves just because you don't understand it does not mean it's not real and yeah so if you struggle it's okay i think you need to really surround yourself with people who just make you happy i've realized this so much in the past month there are some people that i've noticed like in life you could surround yourself with people and it's all fun and games but like do they care about you really that feeling of being in a room full of people where you're like wow if i wasn't here no one would care like, if I wasn't at this party, no one would care at all. Just distance yourself from those people. And there's nothing wrong with those people at all. They could be great people. It's just not your people and it's not the people you vibe with the most. And it's not people that 
when you leave a situation with them you feel better or you feel happy or you feel like you've grown as a person or you've learned something new or sorry I had to start that again and stopped recording honestly I don't know where I would be without this I just ordered myself I have a new blue one there to start I'm gonna finish May in here and then from June start my new blue one and I think I'll be doing that for the rest of my life and I think journaling just helps everything and that's just me and do it throw yourself into what you love like I said I've been doing a project with my two friends honestly like the happiness and joy it brings me and we've got i actually need to start getting ready whether what you do is like playing football or just get outside okay this is my advice okay you're not alone i don't know if me having body issues or mental health issues is a shock to anybody and if it is there you go it's true and it's very very true but like i'm not embarrassed to say it i used to be when i was younger trust me like but I'm not work on yourself find some way of releasing how you're feeling whether it's journaling whether it's writing music whether it's I do something to get it out so not just your physical stuff like playing football play like somehow to speak whether it's therapy talking to a friend like meeting someone once a week to just talk be active go outside try and do it at least once a day even if it's a half an hour walk 20 minute walk it doesn't have to be a big strenuous thing but just do it surround yourself with people that make you a better person or just make you feel good or people you think gent you feel care about you and your well-being and care about what you're doing and support you and your milestones and people that will make a big deal over little things for you surround yourself with people that will hype you up i have to talk about things i'm a very working uh, to work through things i have to talk i just have to speak because my mind gets so fuzzy i just shut down and i have to just get into bed and sleep i just can't deal so i need to talk and if someone didn't have someone to talk to it just breaks my heart so please make that your mission find someone because trust me it makes things so much better and lastly let's normalize talking about it please you don't have to explain yourself okay but also don't get mad if people don't understand it works both ways because to them it's a completely foreign thing it's like they just don't get it and it's nobody's fault i don't really know i don't know what this video is about i guess it was also just to apologize for not putting up anything if anybody really cares i don't know if anyone even noticed but anyways i'm going to be doing a lot more and uh, i don't know if any more of them are going to be about mental health and stuff probably to be honest or you might see it more throughout different videos but yeah more is coming i've got really exciting video coming up soon and yeah i want to do loads more in summer so so that's everything Please like, comment, and subscribe as always. Exciting though, definitely tune in in the next week or two for the other videos that I'm super excited about. Let's get hyped for summer because lockdown's ending and it's all fun and games. So thank you guys. So much love and as I said, check in on each other and I hope everyone's doing well and stay safe. Bye. Bye.